can't believe I actually sound like this. I got my coffee. The guy at Starbucks was so nice. I can't even lie, when I was ordering my coffee, I was expecting to be like, what did you say? And I tried to like, it projects my voice as much as possible, but it just wasn't coming out. So, let's recap the concerts. Starting with Jackson Wang. This concert was the most chaotic, like, win trust to me is win bust, win no trust. Like, they screwed people over so much because technically no one was allowed to camp out. Which is fine, I understand, but like at the end of the day, you know people are probably gonna camp out and they're just gonna go elsewhere to camp out. And so that's pretty much what happened. And so camping out happened and there was like an unofficial lineup that was done by a group of people. And it was very organized. We got an email where it was like at nine o'clock lineup and it had like basically where everyone was, like VIP one, VIP two, GA. So when it was close to nine, the unofficial lineup we had we literally all walked in a single file line like we were in kindergarten school on a field trip. Like, it looked so crazy. And so we were walking over and we got over to where we were and we knew and we saw some people who weren't like at the unofficial lineup sprint over to the building. So we had our own separate line. This big ass like man who's, I guess he's staff. I don't know if he's security or what, but he was definitely staff and he was like, y'all camped out so I'm not, I'm not honoring your guys' spot. Like, they were over here first, so they're the first in lines, whatever. So everyone just starts trying to push their way into the single file line because he's like, unless everyone's in a the line, these barricades aren't coming down. And it, honestly, like, it would have been fine if he, like, spoke to us, you know, like, respectfully, but he was, like, being very disrespectful about it. Like, no one was, like, yelling at him. No one said any, like, no one was, like, coming at him sideways, but he wanted to get mad disrespectful. And so that's when, she started popping off like the girl who was doing the unofficial lineup was trying to speak to him calmly and then she snapped and then the girl who was like first in line at the barricade that like ran across the street and wasn't in the unofficial lineup was snapping at her while also snapping at him and it was just like it was so chaotic and i'm just up against the wall like this they said some bullshit like if you're here by yourself we're not letting you in you need to have a group of five or more so we started adopting people into our group because we're like, that's such, like, that's so stupid. So we were seeing who was around us. Like, we figured out who our group was at first. And we were, like, seeing who was around us. Like, are you by yourself? Are you by yourself? You know, whatever. Come on in. I think we had, like, two or three people join our group because they were by themselves. And it's just, like, what type of mess is that? Like, you, if they're by themselves, that should be easier for you. But whatever. We had, like, a big group of, like, eight or ten, something like that. Somewhere in between those numbers. And so we get in. We're lined up in VIP too, and we all had like decent spots. Like I think uh, my full, our full group was like from places like five to 20. That doesn't make sense, Kayla. That was terrible math. 10 to 20, that's what I meant to say. You know, people could leave to get ready and stuff. So me and Jazz leave around like 12 or like 11.30 to go and get changed and like get some food in our system. We get a call from one of the girls who we were lined up with and she's like, where are you guys trying to get back here? They're talking about giving us wristbands and letting us in. To our check-in time for two was 5.30. It was all, it was barely two o'clock and we we're like, what, like what's going on? Both of us not having done makeup and still eating, dropped all of our food, quickly finished our makeup and booked it back to Wintrust just for them to be like, oh sorry that wasn't for you guys that was for like our staff like why did y'all not let us know so that way like we didn't book it back down here because now we're just down here stuck when we could have stayed at the apartment and finished our food and everything else like it was just so annoying like they screwed us over so many times it was just such like the process before getting into the arena was just so like terrible like it was god awful we get our wristbands 5 30 rolls around we're getting let in they let all the vip one go in and take their pictures and get their spots which apparently wasn't isn't what they've done at every other concert every other concert they do like bunches of like vip one vip two to get like a mix of vip one and vip two to get to the barricade but for us when trust mm, which it's like whatever but it was like the fact that that wasn't done at any other show but ours and that was the one thing they decided to like be nice about was that was kind of annoying and then on top of that i am short and so a lot of people in front of me were tall but luckily the girls around me were super nice and they were like can you see can you see like they gave me like a little pocket window where it was like i can go this way and see perfectly and i can go this way and see perfectly like everyone was super nice like 
people wise like the people i was around for the concert and they were all super chill but so we had a good spot and then so we got to do sound check which i've never been to a sound check but i don't think i'll ever want to do a sound check again because the way that jackson just showed up like we were all like chit chat and then all you hear is what's up guys and i'm like huh and I just see this man in a full blue tracksuit looking like a blueberry, looking like Violet from freaking Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. And he's got his sunglasses on. I'm like, why is he wearing that? <laughs> but it was Jackson. He comes out, he's like, what's up, guys? Y'all ready? And he just starts with the first song, which was Cheetah. And I was like, what is going on? Like, I wasn't even ready. I couldn't even record properly. So we did sound check. And I got my moment because he was like, listening to the crowd and he was like what song do y'all want to hear and it was dead silent and I was like this is my chance and I was like Titanic and everyone was like and he was like Titanic and everyone's like yeah and then we got a Titanic chance and he goes whoa wait, 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 guys guys we have to pick a song off the set list because I don't think they have that in the files and I'm like that was my little moment I got during soundcheck which is great soundcheck was literally maybe like 30 minutes or less and then he leaves we have to wait another hour and a half until the show actually starts and then the show starts and the show <laughs> show is good but things that happen during the show not so good and so he comes out he opens up with 100 ways let me tell you bro this man is a performer like top tier like giving a show interacting with the crowd giving fan service the man was eating it all up and you know what i know he definitely likes chicago after his show because like we had that man hype obviously people were like barking he was like is this like a chicago thing he was like what is this and so we kept doing it throughout the show and he got so hyped he was like yeah let's go let's go he was just feeling himself it was so funny to watch the show's going on songs are amazing got great videos and then it gets to his song i love you 3000 where he picks a fan to go on stage and he can serenade them and this man's coming down right and all of a sudden I'm getting pushed not like pushed, but like kind of like a sh like a hey hey like trying to get my attention I turn around they're like we need a medic and I'm like oh shit and I see the girl there's a girl on the ground and one of her friends is like trying to cover her to like calm her down I'm like oh my god like what is going on like I thought she passed out so then I'm like screaming to the girls in front of me I'm like you guys like we need a medic and they're like oh why because they're all trying to get fucking Jackson's attention which I completely understand like everyone wants to grab on stage but like we have a real emergency here and so they're like oh why oh why I'm like, um, and I'm like you know what forget it and so I start pushing them because I'm like y'all are so useless right now and so I'm like trying to weasel my way to get to like at least somewhere close to the barricade so I can like get a staff member and I'm like we need a medic we need and I'm just screaming it and no one's helping and then of course Jackson rolls through and I'm like we need a medic we need a medic and he stops he's like whoa, whoa, whoa what's going on this is my one other interaction with Jackson because this man looks me dead in my eyes and he goes what's going on I'm like we need a fucking medic and he's like oh shit the fact that my interaction with this man looking him dead in my eyes was the fact that I cussed at him and said I needed a fucking medic was crazy if that was the moment I had to get I'm glad I got it because like I said I got to look in that man's eyes beautiful by the way but I'm like we need a fucking medic and he's like oh shit 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 I'm pretty sure this video is like surfacing on TikTok because I saw it I saw it on Twitter and it was just like <sighs> It was crazy. He's like, medic, medic, we need a medic. So he grabs staff, get a medic. And then he's like, all right, guys, like, we need to, like, back up. No one's moving. No one's moving out of the way. So, of course, me and Jazz, being the two people who are trying to get this shit under control, because I'm like, the longer y'all take, the longer it's going to take to get back to the show. And the longer we're going to have to, like, stand here. And we're just going to keep getting yelled at by staff because y'all won't listen. So me and Jazz pretty much became security. And we're like, y'all, back the fuck up and we're pushing people back and i'm literally like y'all are gonna get your spots back like no one's gonna take your spots everyone's just gonna fill back in but we need to get this girl out of here like she's having a panic attack and so then we're like back up back up like jazz had the left side i had the right and i'm like y'all need to back up make way finally get everyone pushed back medics and security get through they get her and i thought they were gonna take her through the barricade but they took her through the back and then people started filing and Jack's like, whoa, 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 like is everyone like is anyone else hurt? Everyone else okay? And this girl that we met there, she was like, No, they took my fucking bag. And I was like, oh what? And she's like, they took my bag. And he's like, where's her bag? And Jackson's like, where's her bag? He's like, is it one of these down here? All the girls are like, no, those are ours. And we're like, y'all, let's calm down. There's no need to be screaming and shouting at one another. 
And I'm like, no, no, no. Like, they took her bag with the girl. They thought it was the girl's bag, but it was actually hers. And staff was like, okay, we'll make sure we get it back to you. Da, da, da. And Dax was like, guys, is anyone else hurt? Like, are we okay? Like, da, da, da. And we're like, yeah, I think we're good. Like, I think it's all good now. He's like, let's calmly, you know, boom, and let's get back to the show. We're like, okay, cool. The one thing that probably pissed me off the most about that whole situation was like, when this was going on, people on my right, I could hear them like, Jackson, are you okay? Jackson, are you okay? Are y'all being so for real right now? I get it. Y'all want y'all little your name moment or whatever but like we have a girl genuinely having a panic attack to the point where she was probably about to pass out and we're trying to get this girl out of here we're trying to speak to him and you're sitting here trying to get your voice heard asking him if he's okay you know what he's perfectly fine you know why because the man's been up there singing and dancing breaking it down and buzzing his ass and drinking henny like it's water so i don't think there's anything wrong with him okay i think he's just trying to make sure everyone else is okay and what i appreciate it is when people were being like Jackson, are you okay Jackson, are you okay he was like guys no like this is serious like we need to like this is a serious situation and then they finally shut up but like that was probably the one thing that annoyed me the most because they said that and then some girls behind the girls who was helping um the one who needed the medic they said like some girls behind them were like this is not the time for this like da 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 and i'm just like why are people so like rude like i get it everyone wants to grab his attention especially because he's bringing someone up on stage but i hate to break it to you there were so many people on this floor the odds of you getting picked were slim behind they were slim so stop like just calm down if you get picked you get picked if you don't it don't it is what it is you move on and you keep it moving like we've got to calm down because the fact that this girl was legit having a panic attack and about to pass out and there were people around being so rude and disrespectful about it honestly they're lucky i didn't hear it because i don't like that and i would have like if i would have heard i would have said something like i would have said something to the girls that were like jackson are you okay but like i was too busy trying to make sure he could hear me and speak to me to get this girl like to get like security in that i couldn't even like be bothered with them but like the other girls like this isn't the time for this bop, bop, bop. like get out of here like stop don't act like that like that's so rude and disrespectful so that happened so those are my two interactions <laughs> those are my two interactions which is great and so then the show continues you know whatever and then <clears throat> good show you know things were going well until we hit the encore the encore comes and this man's grabbing people to get on stage let me tell you the pushing was a lot and i'm a small girl like i'm five two but although i'm five two i've got build on me so these people were pushing and they weren't i wasn't moving because i was like oh hell no y'all are not about to kill me because y'all are trying to get this man to pull you on stage if you get pulled you get pulled i'm trying to keep people from pushing me because i'm up against this other girl and i'm like please i was like if it's too much i'm like let me know i'm gonna put out push back as much as i can you know to help her because like she's up against the barricade so like i didn't want her to get squished and like smashed up against the barricade and so she was like thank you i appreciate it or whatever so i'm trying to keep people like from pushing but this man's grabbing people on stage at some point at like the very end this man had like 50 people on stage and they're just like on stage like jumping around like you know doing the whole encore and what what i was a little salty about is pretty much everyone that we were with like all the girls in line were on that stage besides me and jazz <laughs> Pretty much all of them, well not all, but like almost all of them got grabbed to go on stage besides me and Jazz. That was my one salty moment, was that right there. But I was like, you know what? It's fine, it is what it is. Honestly, he probably didn't want to grab me on stage because I quite literally cussed at him. But, but so yeah, the encore happened, so much fun. Um, to be so for real, I fell in love with one of his dancers. <laughs> and I got to have my moment with the dancer. So honestly, I kind of won. I'm not going to lie. So the dancers come down. At the, they came down towards the end because Jackson was like, y'all, like, go high five, like, you know, whatever. And so they come down and they're giving everyone high fives. I'm giving everyone high fives. I'm a good job. But when I saw him, I made sure I got the attention. I, like, went to high five him, but then I, like, kind of grabbed him and, I was, and he, like, stopped and looked at me. And I was like, you did so well. Like, you did a really good job tonight. And, and so I went like this. And he goes, thank you. I really appreciate it. And I was like. Forget Jackson, I want the dancer. Oh my God, I don't know what that man had in his, like, I don't know, there was just something about him. I was just so drawn, I was just so drawn. I was like, oh my God, I'm like, look at his dance. Anyways, 
that's besides the point. But yeah, so I pretty much had all my moments that I probably could have had besides like getting pulled on stage, which is fine. Cause like I said, the odds of that happening are always slim to none. So like for me, it's just like a, if it happens, it happens and that would be so dope. But if it doesn't, it's perfectly fine. And so the fact that I did get interaction during sound check and then I pretty much cussed, <laughs> cussed in Jackson during the show. And then I got the moment with the dancer. Honestly, I had a wonderful time and a wonderful night. His show as a whole, the show was beautiful. Like if I was to rate the experience, like just the show, 10 out of 10. Well, okay, like if nothing would have happened, like Medic and everything, 10 out of 10. Like the show was so good. His production was crazy. And also like, it's crazy because like, I feel like his show was a little bit more like on the sad side because I feel like a lot of his songs do tend to have like a more like somber feel and vibe to it. But in between, like when he was doing like dress changes and it was either like the dancers the dancers were even doing do, either doing a like little dance for like the intermission or there was like a video playing the way that these videos were so sh well done like they were shot so well the production like i said insane the production was so insane for his show and sugars but like it was just so crazy to me like if I would literally, like, I was watching and I would look at Jess, I'm like, Jess, I don't think you understand, like, how good this is. Because, like, I, like I said, I'm a film student, so I, like, eat that shit up. And I'm like, oh my god, like, they ate that up. Like, talking about just, like, the video. He would talk, he would, you know, do his nice little speech or whatever. He did one speech that literally almost made me start crying because it was just, like, he's such a well-spoken person. Like, get that man a podcast, like, give him a TED Talk something because the man was spitting bars while he was doing his little like talk intermission or whatever you want to call it. During his show, like a lot of the times, like I'm not gonna lie, I was like, my heart hurt because I was like, oh my God. The show on its own, if nothing bad would have happened, 10 out of 10. The experience as a whole with like the day that I went through plus everything that happened at the show, it's gotta get like an 8, 8.5 because it was just such a long day. And then for all of that to happen was just too much. That was Jackson's show. Like I said, so much fun. I mean, Magic Man 2, it sounds like it's gonna is in the works and it's gonna come out here maybe sometime this year and then maybe another tour. So if that happens, I will be making sure I go to his show again. I might go to multiple shows. I might have to get VIP one because honestly, next time I do want that picture. Next time I do want that picture and I'm gonna make sure I have the money in my account so that way when I see that price, I'm not stressed about it because I couldn't do it this time around. And VIP 2 is great, but if I could get VIP one, overall all in all great loved it so much i had a lot more fun than i thought i was going to like i was excited to see him 100 percent. but i feel like jazz was more excited than me but le after leaving the show i like i found a n i had a newfound love for him and just like the fact of like he's genuinely a perform like he performs so well like he just did so good and i just made like i've always loved him don't get it twisted but i just found like a newfound love for him after that show and a lot of his songs were so good live like below live was insane and then his little magic mic number i think the song the moment that was those two songs live killed oh and blue those three blow the moment and blue blue i'm i almost i almost cried i can't even lie to you that man sounded like he was in so much pain and honestly, I felt like I was in the same pain when he was singing that song, I almost cried. And then Blow is just one of my favorite songs. So I have that whole thing on video because I was like, I have to remember this for the rest of my life. That song took me for a loop. And then he did the moment. And we know that's his magic mic number and it sent me in a tizzy because the girl he put up on stage, first of all, she ate that shit up. Like, obviously people are like, gonna be salty when it's not them. But let me tell you, she had her moment. That girl, I, and also I know this video is surfacing because I've seen it on TikTok and Twitter. But she gets pulled up on stage and she's dancing. And at one point when they get in their like makeshift elevator they have for the stage, and like he's hold, like she's dancing and then he's holding her hand and she's like standing in front of him but her back's to us. And this girl starts doing this number and dropping it down and I'm like, oh, she's killing that. I'm like, she's eating that up. Those three songs were probably the songs I loved the most. So yeah, that was Jackson's, so much fun. Can't wait for the next album, can't wait for the next tour because I will be, I will be going. Now, let's move on to Sugar Show, Augusti. I'm gonna get sick, I can feel it, I know it. I'm gonna get sick. Sugar Show was magical. I honestly think I levitated at one point. I 
started with I had no alcohol in my system. I had I was complete, completely sober, but I feel like at one point I was literally levitating in that arena. I was so excited to see this man because I love him to death. His music is so good. And come on, like he's he's the best in the game like let's not get it twisted so i was so excited to see him i'm sad because i had friends who were going to the show that i i wanted to get to meet up with and see but let me tell you when we got in there it was so hard to just move like there was like crowds and crowds of people like even staff was like shouting at people because it was so crowded and they had to get a wheelchair through and people weren't moving because people had nowhere to move that's our seats we sit down and i said oh we're gonna see him see him because our seats were I feel like they don't look like they're great seats on video, but they were good seats. Like I could perfectly see him. Once the show's about to start, you know, everything thims down or whatever. And again, production, stage production. I don't know who did it, but I hope they got paid what they deserve because it was the way for the show to start. He, his dancers, which we're gonna have to talk about at the very end because oh my God, his dancers, come out fully hooded like black trench coats it's not even like a trench coat it's like a robe and then they got the hood on or whatever they're carrying sugar to the stage and just lay him down and then Hagum starts to play he starts to like get up and he starts to like arise and I'm like oh my god oh my god it's happening it's happening it's happening and then the bitch of it is oh my god you guys like I can't even think straight like the way that I lost my mind and then the thing is, it's like, Hagem ends, and then you hear the uh, instruments for um, Dejata, and then you start hearing like the chanting of like the music. Like, I can't even explain the feeling I had in my body each time a song played, because it was like, depending on the song, it was like a different emotion each time. And it was just, it was literally so beautiful. And he did Hagem, the Dejata, the Nagasti. Let me tell you, Chicago was good. Like the energy was good in there. The the loudness was so, it was peak. It was up there. Everyone shouting the lyrics. It was so good. I, I'm gonna be so for real. I low key blocked out. Like I don't remember a lot from the show because I was just such in awe by the fact that I was seeing this man in person on that stage. Like I could fully see him. Oh my god, it was so good. It was so good. It was so good. It was so good. When he sang SDL, Banger! When he sang People Part 2, Are You? Banger! When he sang Snooze, almost cried. When he was singing Life Goes On, not gonna lie, I shed a tear. A couple tears may have fallen because I was I was listening to him sing and oh I like I don't know these singers really get in their emotions and feels because like the way that it just felt like he oh oh my god like I can't even think about it it was just so crazy but like he again he ate that shit up like it was so good but let me tell you what really got me here's the thing right so he didn't burn it burn it was so good so good live oh my god it was so good burn it ends he starts performing shadow and I'm like in love because the way that that production for Shadow was just too good. Shadow ends and then I forgot that the, Cy like I forgot Cypher came after Shadow because I was just so flabbergasted by the fact that I just witnessed Shadow. I just wish, I just witnessed Burn It and Shadow back to back. Like I was so flabbergasted. And so I stopped recording because all the lights went down. I'm like, okay, you know, just like kind of patiently waiting for what's next. And then I hear the boop, boop, boop. And the, the way I, threw my phone up as quick as I could, but I was like, oh shit. And so I started recording. So we've got, we got the two ciphers and then we had Ugh, and then we got Dang, and then we got Huh. Those songs mashed together. I don't know how I survived it. I really don't. I don't think I did, to be honest with you. Life Goes On made me cry. Snooze made me tear up a little bit. And then I didn't realize how good Amygdala was gonna be live. Cause he performs that at the end, right? When he started saying, I don't know your name, my heart sank. Because I was like, oh my God, it's Amygdala. It's Amygdala, it's Amygdala, it's Amygdala. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then we get to the chorus. It was such a headbanger. That was the thing, right? Like a lot of his songs, I feel like 
the, some of the lyrics are sad, but the beat don't match the lyrics, right? So I'm over here like, my I'm a do, I'm a, and I'm like head banging, but I'm like low key sad and like tearing up because I'm like, bro, this song low key is sad as hell. Things he did during the concert. Now let's talk about the fact that his backup dancers are quite literally all dancers that I want from LA. Like the way that he, so he like, like gave the band their time to shine you know he was like drummer and pianist and, da -da -da -da. and he was like and the dancers and they come running out from the back i see them mouth drops i turn to jazz i said what the fuck because the first person i saw was will i said oh and then i see and i can't remember all their names for the life of me but i know one of the guys who was there he had like um dreadlocks i think he either he may work or i know he's choreographed for steezy he was at, I think, a uh, K-pop convention where he did, or three choreographers, one song, and it was the AT song. Like, I, I knew that was him from that video. Um, there's another dude who had curly hair. I forget his name for the life of me, but I know exactly what he looks like. The moment if I saw a video, I would know exactly who he was. I think that was the biggest shock to me was seeing literally all of them run out because I didn't even know like they were the dancers because I was so focused on watching Sugar the entire performance. I paid no attention to the dancers. Although they did eat that shit up. I, I saw them a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I did watch them a little bit because I always like watching the dancers. But I, every time I did look at them and see them, they always had that long like cloak on so I couldn't tell who they were. And so when they came running out, jaw, jaw dropped. I think that was the most shocked I was the entire show. I saw them run out and I go, <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, that's swell. That's the, oh dude, that's so, 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 so. I'm like, I know every last one of them on that lineup. I've seen all of them on YouTube dancing at freaking Millennium or Steezy or whatever other studio, like Playground LA. I'm like, oh my God, no way. I'm like, when did they get on tour with Suga? Because I could have swore I saw a video a while back of a Suga concert where he had his dancers and it just wasn't them. But yeah, that happened. They had Suga uh, swag surfing. Oh my god, bro. Honestly, he started because they started doing like the uh, uh, <laughs> my voice uh, and like swag surfing back and forth. And in my head, I was like, and we pop it. Tag. I swag and I surf. I swag. I wanted them to play the song so bad, but I'm like, they really got shook it down there. So I surfing. I was like, and that's what I needed to see and it was just so good and then the way Suga ended the show he was up there he was on the mic it was the last song where he had like a bunch of cameras around him again the production was insane I wish I were I didn't realize how much like video was gonna be in like um the show so I wasn't recording the videos because I was just actually so zoned in and focused on like the videos so I have none of them on video except for maybe like the very beginning like before he comes out like the intro but like the production again was so like if you if you're watching this and you went to the show you'll know what i'm talking about if you haven't i apologize i hope someone's got it on video and can show you but like it was just so good and so for his last song he was like on the floor and there's like a shit ton of cameras around him and he was singing and on the screen it shows like it's like camera one, camera two, camera three. It's like just like the camera numbers on the screen. And there's like eight or 12 different cameras. And it's showing him at like a different angle. Oh, like it was so, oh my God, it was so good. It was so, that thing popped up on the screen. I said, oh my God, like who came up with that? Says the last line, he finished it. He lets go, he turns around, walks off. Doesn't say bye, just walks off, doesn't turn back. And then lights turned on. And then you just got D-Day flashed on the, on the screen and he was gone and the show was over and it was like oh well i guess it's time to go home so for sugar's concert 10 out of it gets a 10 out of 10 like the experience the concert like 10 out of 10 hands down i have major pcd now from what from seeing those two to now i'm about to go home and i have no i have no concert until my mama i'm gonna be bored for like the next two weeks until Mama Moo. I, I don't even think I can pick like a top three or even a top five of my favorite songs to see live from him because like if I had to pick a top three, I'm picking the first three. Like Hagem and Dead to Talk, Augusty back to back and seeing them live and hearing the crowd, it was so good. But I loved Amygdala Live. I loved the mix of all the Cyphers and Dang and Hut. Like I, I was so like, oh, it was just so good. Like, cause like Burn It was good. Like I love the song Burn It. I, don't love it as much as I love other songs, 
but when I heard it live I have a newfound love for that song because I'm like oh my god it's so it's so good live like it's so good some songs I start to love a lot more when I see them live and like that was one of them because like I, I really liked that song but I wasn't too crazy about it. like I have been with like Hagem and Dead and I like, guess D and like Ugh and Huh and like amygdala and like sdl like people part two like i wasn't obsessed with that song as much as like the other songs but i saw that live and now i'm like re put it on repeat 10 out of 10 for his show i can't pick a favorite song i can't pick what i liked the best to see live because all of it was just too good also he said chicago slayed and that was so cute um before the show he was like i actually was in the best condition and i'm like sir you could have fooled me you look like you were in the best condition having the time of your life but he was like i was in the best condition he was like but once i came out here and hagum started and i heard you all like shouting the lyrics and screaming he was like i felt a lot better and he's like i knew i was gonna do a good job he's like i think i did a good job do you guys think i did a good job and of course we're like hell yeah you did a good job and he was like i appreciate your guys' energy so much like it's really helped me like da -da -da, this that this that and the other and i'm just like so cute. So cute. Overall, overall, my weekend was amazing. And technically, the weekend just started because it's literally Saturday. <laughs> but technically, my weekend's done and over with. I'm doing nothing the rest of this weekend. I have to go to work on Sunday. I'm driving home. I need to do laundry. So it was fun. It was a long weekend. But literally had the time of my life. And honestly, if anyone didn't get to go to a show like either Jackson's or Sugar's, if they go back on tour, I highly recommend because I've never experienced a concert that also felt like I was watching a movie or like a play. Like it was like a whole like movie and like film production watching both of those shows like they gave the same vibe in forms of like their production like they really put so much hard work and effort to like have like both both shows had a story from beginning to end i feel like that's rare to see but both of them had a story from beginning to end and honestly their stories were like kind of similar but a little different and it, like I said, it was just so beautiful to see and watch and witness. And I'm just glad that I got to go to both shows and had amazing seats for both shows. Like money well spent, like no regrets here at all. I had a wonderful time. My voice is gone. I'll probably need like a full week to a week and a half, maybe even two weeks to recover. Cause like I said, I think I'm definitely gonna end up getting sick, which, was gonna, which will suck if I do. But honestly, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I suck at fall and vlogging. I apologize. I've been talking better at it, but I like it's just so hard. <laughs> a lot of the times when I do stuff like this, I'm not really doing much. I'm just kind of like laying around waiting to go to the show. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked both of the concert videos. I'm gonna be posting recap. Like obviously, I posted the. By the time this is posted, both of the concert videos from Jackson and Sugar will be up, and then I'm going to be posting like a little like shorter like recap montage video of both shows um and then also have them posted on my tiktok so y'all should go check those out um and yeah you know if you enjoyed you can like comment subscribe or do whatever you want to do and i will see you when i see you bye you guys <laughs>